Okay, this is a quick documentary. And Saturday, about 11, say 10, if you roll back the clock. One, I want to state that I am not suicidal. I love my life. I love my family. I love everything on this earth. That being said, if something would happen to me out of the blue, please investigate it. I know I come at people the wrong way sometimes. Calling people names. Sheeple, that kind of shit. That's me. I'm only trying to warn you. There is already a war going on. These trains, all this shit that's going on is a distraction. From Wall Street to Main Street, if you're not part of the elite, you're part of the bra bottom. And who do you think all these people, these thugs, that already are committing so many crimes, I'm an ex-thug myself, that's what makes me good at this. Where do you think they're going to go first? We need to stick together. We need to say, fuck that bullshit and take these 1% out. Out of office, because 56% of the 1% are in office. You look at all these tragedies going around our country. We have veterans living under bridges. We have illegals living in hotels. What's that tell you, folks? I'm all for immigration. Come across the fucking bridge through the door and do it the right way. If you don't think that this is China, the cartel, all working together, and if you don't think that this administration is bought and paid for, and it's been the long game since he's been in office, the dude's been lying before he even got into office, folks. Plagiarism, all of that. All these people are sickos. Before this war even started, Ukraine was known as a money laundering, child tra sex trafficking country. They were horrible. In my opinion, they still are. There's reports that Russia actually seized shipments of the, uh, whatever the people drink, you know, on Epstein's Island. Let's, wh where's those flight logs? Now we got the January 6th shit out. It was a trap to scare you never to stand up. Stand up for yourself ever again. Because if you, they got you scared. And they got you divided. They got you. Because I'm no brainiac. But I can do math, folks. And if we stick together. The 99 beat one every time. But we'll just be killing each other. They won't even have to shoot a bullet. And this is how it's going to go. They're going to... Afghanistan was a practice run. See how fast they can move your ass out of here. You're going to be part of the elite. Part of the people that serve the elite. Run the crew for the elite. And you're going to be over there. And we're going to concentrate as you can. Being a Uyghur. Being a slave labor. Working your ass off. Folks. We need to stand together. Me and my crew of guys and some of the folks I deal with, we have been following this a long time. We now know it is almost time. There's a lot of stuff that's been going on if you look it up. In our country. I'm not saying go and Google it and listen to the news. I'm saying look into it. Read about it. Don't go to the first page of Google. Go to the second. Don't use Google. Use something else. I'm, I don't, I'm not on one side or the other, folks. I'm right down the middle. I'm an independent. Call me what you will, but I am not going to be a part of this fucking shit. Where they play us like little puppets. Now we're going to create a race war again. Oh, now we're going to become a gender war again. And while they're creating all these... Oh, the trains are blowing up. Oh, the food places are blowing up. Oh, everything. Oh, we have no oil. Oh, what are we going to do? We have people halt. Hungry, angry, lonely, and tired. People don't have their internet. Take that from them. They're cold. 
take that from them. They're hungry. Take that from them. Take their money from them. Try to take their guns from them. Do not take any new things by the one company that sponsors everything. Hockey. Sponsored by that. Sponsored by. Just listen to it. Everything sponsored by. <laughs> then you got my people out there like trying to tell the truth. I don't even know if I want to say their name. And we're trying to weed out those who want to help and those who are just out there to incite us, to divide us, and then to conquer us. Not only is America the best, dumbest country right now in the world, we are losing... How is everything going to work when XYZ families grew up in the United States and generations and generations have paid into the system? Then you just bring influx of people and take care of them like they've been here all that time. It won't work unless you re-divert, reallocate, do a bail-in and re-registrate with the digital ID. You reallocate based on racial equality, sexual equality. Making these people thinking they're going to get something like the student loan forgiveness that you're paying cheaper now for gas and groceries than you were. I don't give a fuck in any administration. Highest gas prices. Highest grocery prices. Most unstable world that will be destroyed. 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 Now you can get up, stand up, Start thinking for yourself. They don't want you to think for yourself either. Oh, Google, what's the answer to this? Oh, Google, what's the answer to this? Hey, Alexa, hey, this and hey. Shut the fuck up! Look it up in a book! God damn, you stupid motherfucker! Read an atlas! Look at a map! Go play in the woods! Get off the fucking pad. I walk. Hand in hand with that devil. Promised me everything. And I had everything. Just tell my wife this tonight. Bad, bro. They don't give a fuck. I didn't have the problems I have today, and I'm trying to be. God. Bearing. Can't be a gun toting. Patriot! They take that right from them. anything. Whoop! You lose that right. Whoop! 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 No hunting, no guns. <laughs> if you aren't seeing what is going on, you are blind. And I honestly think right now half the country is blind. Blinded by the noise, nonsense, the noise, the confusion. They don't even want to hear about it. They get to the point now, I hear it now. People are telling me. I'm trying to get off here quick so you don't burn me. Because I'm just here trying to tell you what's coming. Because I've been there, I've done that, and I've seen it. I've been... Wow. This is going to make things like 2008, the financial crisis. <laughs> Why do you think they're robbing us, eh? They know they're going to get away with it because they bought and paid for abortion. They're going to kick that can down and fucking... Until they can get out of it. Trust me. We need to go take our money. You don't want to have no money. You want to have gold, silver, bullets, food. I'm no crazy prepper, dude. But look around. Ask some of these older people if they're still here. They tried to wipe them off the map. So we want to be able to get any information from them. I guess like, don't destroy the history of real America and replace it with what they want us to know. Isn't that funny?
find a higher power. You can do it for yourself in a mirror. Have some faith in your neighbor and your friend. Treat others how you want to be treated. Number one rule. You're bringing these kids, these blank canvases in the class, and you're splattering them with all this bullshit. The sexual, the racial, all that fucking bullshit. You're just sticking to them like glue. And you're fucking them up. And we're tired of it. Especially taking them behind closed doors and trying to tell them they're not really a boy or they're not really a girl. What the mother... Mm. People. I won't call you sheeple today. <laughs> but. I need to get out there. You need to get out there. I don't give a fuck if they despair. You need to share. So many people don't know about AMC. So many people don't know about GME. So many people don't know about the stock market and how fucking crooked it is. So many people don't know how the street works. So many people don't know how the ball works. Some people don't know how the system works. It's all corrupt. And it's all leaning one way. You, you think it's leaning your way? You think after this recession or whatever the fuck we're in or out and put it this way. Anytime they say we may have a recession, we're in a recession times 10. Worst fucking thing you hear from the government is we're here to help. They're going to take your land. They're going to take everything. They're going to take as many fucking goddamn freedoms they can from you. Rights they can from you. And you think you're ever going to get them back once they take them? Hell no. You think that little bag of chips is going to be about this big for a dollar soon? Is going to ever go back to this? Remember when we were, oh, kids, a dollar. Coming out of the candy store. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm not a candy store. Nowadays, you get a piece of candy if you're lucky. Even before Chris, we were talking about there is still a couple small places, man. Not many, though. They're trying to put them down. They want it to be like Walmart at the end. Every one company, one giant monopoly, one giant group rules everything. Just this, folks. Block me. Mute me. Be, group, be in a group with me. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, though. And if you've ever been without, if you've never been hungry, if you've never, never had to, like, run away from someone or protect yourself, Now's the time to start learning these things. Being an ex-felon, being an ex-criminal, being someone that could... It's kind of sad, folks, when people are doing better on the street, the crime, and then the people out here busting their ass to make a dime. It ain't right, man. But they got you all so busy. I mean, I, pricing the sign of everything. We got to work longer. We got a second job, third job. Oh my God, I'm never going to make it. No, you won't. They'll keep you in that hamster wheel till you fall out, pass up, and get up and fucking get ready to do it again. Slow, steady beat of this on these feet. We'll be there. We ain't going down like. I know my grandfather, his father, and all the motherfucking people that have bought, fought, died, and gave up so much and sacrificed for us. We should be kissing their boots. I'm just some country bumpkin that just grew up in the outer city of Pittsburgh. But I've been around the block. 
probably I don't like King. I lost count after this point. Should be dead ten times over. But that man yeah. upstairs, the person I talk to, is keeping me here for a reason. I've been right a lot. And I don't like to say I told you so. Yes, I'm an ex junkie. Yes, I like drugs. Yes, I like crazy shit. But you know what? Most people do. Everyone has a vice or two. But look at history. Look at Einstein. And just Einstein around the book. Look at some of the best musicians out there. Entrepreneurs. Skateboarders. You think they sat inside that box all day? You think they drove that same road every day? They said they said this is good enough for me all day. I will comply. Don't deny yourself what you deserve, people. And the more we let them take, the more they will, and the less they will teach you through propaganda, through brainwashing, advertising, all that shit, bro. To think it's okay. Well, they have to do it. They justify it by this and that. But they didn't have to. Please, think through. I want you to say, think, have a plan. Like you have, I hope you have a plan if something happens and you guys got a meeting or a code word for your kids. This is the time to do that kind of stuff. And here's what I recommend you do. When you're going to talk about stuff like that, that you want only with your family, you don't talk about that. I know it's a probably taboo thing to do. Don't text it. On a piece of paper. I use a coffee machine, I guess. If it wasn't a smart copier, a scanner. How do you think they get in front of us so much, people? But hey, get in a traffic accident. Need a police report. Need a statement. Stop. I didn't even see that. Now I'm mean. And when the shit does hit the fan, folks, those people won't be there for you. But my family, my people in our circle, we're going to be there for each other. Just like in Living Dead, just like in every epidemic, just like in every pandemic, just like in every motherfucking planet. There's always a group. There's always a few that can bring a lot of wrong. And that's what we need now. We don't need division. I love you all. All humans must be loved no matter what. We all must be forgiven, but we also all must respect each other's wishes and treat each other how we want to be treated. Morals, values, and respect, people. Let the guy merge on. Let the old lady go in line. Hold the door open. Smile. Leave me this smile and then I can do be. Get the people to crack a smile. Give you the butt. Their charity for a while. And remember, when you're having a bad day, you don't know who else is having a bad day and how bad their day is. Been in jail, I've been all, all, all over the fucking place. Listen, respect. And there's corruption from the bottom to the top in every situation in our country. So if you think you're getting a free and fair fucking whatever it is, it ain't. It's time to realize that. It's time to realize that they have been robbing us, using us, and taxing the fuck out of us, and abusing it. Then it's time that I want you to log on, check me out. I want to try to get some people around so I can talk to them and see and feel them out. I got a little garage. I can get a couple of mics. 
Hey, if we disagree, I'll get the gloves. We'll go back and we'll see. Yo, I gotta go. My power is about to die. I'll put this up on the line on YouTube. God bless you. I'm telling you, there's a lot to learn. Get with that.